All right, in return. Oh, I've got to heal up Boss Barrow. Oops. That actually works. Oh, I forgot to, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why someone like, haven't seen Koji's caught rocket punch? Oh, here's a new attack I haven't seen yet. I have Okatella didn't block this, then dodge this one. Grades his armor. Nice. Shinji's first attack. All right. Um. Let's let's have him evade this. Oh, the angel started regenerating. Crap. Okay. Suddenly, transform to Tokyo Three. Then Trart's transferred to a different school, and then forced to ride this thing. I have no choice to do it. I'm, I'm, ah, still, I've got no choice but to do it. After all, this is what Dad called me in to do. My turn. All right. This shouldn't kill it. Oh, don't want to see the animation. Well, we'll see. Good. Critted, but it did not finish him off. That's what I was hoping for. Softens him off enough. That Shinji can get the kill. And I really need to have... Akito fall back. Um. Resupply Akito. He really needs some extra power right now. Meanwhile, doing, let's, before I have Shinji act, let's deal with some dragons.
All right, there we go. Now my rifle I'm, I'm up back, so... You will not finish off that dragon. But the anti-material rifle will. I'm going to have to move out of cover, unfortunately. Alright. Second. And what? Moon attack. Actually, oh, oh, yeah, move up close here, hit the, hit the sun attack, with Chitose on assist, just for good measure, <laughs> alright, um, And I'm armored enough that I can that I can take that to be okay. Then Chitose comes in. Levels up. And now if we're the finishing blow. I haven't done this in a while. Double invincible assault! This should hopefully be the finishing blow. I wanted to see what she the opening of thought was Shinji reacting to the Zambot team. Please crit! Yes! Ah! Alright, so I just want to move up and attack that then, unfortunately. I wanted to see the Big Bang Punch. Oh, I have it now! Okay, let's do it full on, full in the face. Okay. Big Bang Punch.
Crystal Dragoonium, and it just leaves a couple Galleon Clash Dragons over here. I can hit both of them! Sure! Alright, and now actually... <laughs> <laughs> Pinkade's in position to finish them off. I think Quash should turn the uh, BSR off, the uh, demo off for this, but it's fine. Mobile suits that kind of <laughs> Fighting monsters in a mobile suit, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, I didn't think I had to with you fighting dragons before, did I? Kincaid, you killed like like nine dragons this this mission. I feel like I should give you like a code name of Kincaid Dragon Slayer or something. All right, this will hit. So I'm gonna hit flicker one more time. This will finish it off. Giving giving Shinji the kill and the extra attack points. That's enough! That does it! We did it! We actually did it! Those monsters were incredible! It's over. You did good, Shinji. Hmm? That was your first battle, right? Just the fact you didn't run away is plenty. Exactly. Great job out there. Good job. Go now get some rest. What's this strange feeling? Feels like I did when I became friends with Toji and Kensuke. And this is why I love Evangelion in, in Super Robot Wars. Because all of a sudden, Shinji has a support network of kindred spirits who, are going, who have been through the exact same thing he's been through. Maybe not fighting giant monsters, but who, but being young people about a peer group that has experience that has shared this common experience and can empathize with what he's going through whether through volunteering to go forth and do battle as with like team Mazinger, or having fa fallen or been thrown into the cockpit like gundam pilots and it completely changes shinji's character dynamic and the writers recognize this shinji doesn't like for everyone who complains oh shinji's whiny and that sort of thing it's because he has no he has no support group and no one to fall back on and thus he feels alone and isolated because due to his circumstances. And being in a Super Robot Wars game, being in the cast of a Super Robot Wars game, eliminates that in a lot of respects, because at the very least, they usually stick him in the same universe as Team Mazinger, 
And so as he's starting up, he ends up running into Koji Kabuto or the Get a Robo team or something similar. And that gives him an, opp an opportunity to have someone to talk to. Even if, and it improves his psychological health. They never really spell it out in this respect in there. In the time saying they never really necessarily take the time to say, hey, Shinji is much more psychologically well adjusted now that he has peer a peer group of other robot pilots to talk to. Not because they're rivals or because they're or, or because of again, other weird dynamics to them, like with Asuka. But because they're just peers, they're be it male or female, in this case, like with, with the, with the uh, Cross Angie team. Um, but yeah, it's, it's... This is good. This is, I like this a lot. Business sure was brisk, was sure brisk today. Even I'm tired out, I must admit. Our work here isn't done, though. Tetsuya, Ryoma, come with me. What are you talking about? I'll explain the situation later. Come with me. Tetsuya. What are you talking about, Tetsuya? You're saying we should turn tail and run away? Where exactly are you taking me? What's the reason for all this? I That I can't tell you. You bet we just go along with this? Not on an open comm. You've got no time. Please, just trust me. Sorry. Ryoma. I do trust you. I trust my friends who are here as much as I trust you. But by extension... If you can trust me to tell to do what this thing that you want me to do, you have to tell them too. So I can't just up and leave them here. I see. Tetsuya! Hold on, what's the deal with that Mazinger of yours? Great Mazinger. It's a robot that surpasses the Mazinger Z. Tetsuya! That guy, in such a crucial time. What the hell is he thinking? Extra 10 attack points, extra 60 attack points, still gets me. And those two combined get me 200 attack points, which is enough to get someone who isn't aced already to ace. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.